what's going on? This is a uh, Lab 5 lemon battery. Um, so yeah, let's get right into it. Lemons have a very interesting property. They can be used as a battery for this experiment. You'll be using a lemon to set up a system that will allow you to light a fire with your lemon. Use the following video as a guide and set up this experiment. Um, you need a lemon, six copper clips, six uh, zinc nails, a piece of rubberized wire, some steel wool, and uh, yeah. So basically, a lemon battery is a simple battery, um, often made for the purpose of education. Typically, a piece of zinc metal, such as galvanized nails, which is what I used, and a piece of copper um, are inserted into a lemon connected by wires. Uh, power generates by the, a reaction of materials used in uh, or used to power the small device, such as an LED. Um, so, what's going on? So, most textbooks present the following model for the chemistry re chemical reactions of a lemon battery. When this cell is providing um, an electric current through an external circuit, the metal zinc at the surface of the zinc electride, electrode is dissolving into the solution. Zinc atoms dissolve into liquid electrolyte as electrically charged ions, Zn2+, leaving two negatively charged electron ions, E-, behind the metal. Um, these reaction, or this reaction is called oxidation. While zinc is entering the electrolyte, two positively charged hydrogen ions uh, from the electrolyte combine with the two electrons at the copper's electrode surface and form an uncharged hydrogen molecule. This reaction is called reduction. The electrons used in the copper to form the molecules of hydrogen are transferred from the zinc through the external wire. Uh, connecting between the copper and the zinc. The hydrogen molecules formed on the surface of the copper by the reduction reaction ultimately bubble away as hydrogen gas. So the results ultimately will be when you touch the two wires, um, the two cut up wires together on a piece of um, metal mesh or steel mesh um, should turn infrared and uh, be hot enough to start a fire. So here I am working away in my backyard. It is 105 degrees outside here in North Texas. Uh, the mosquitoes are high, but here I am connecting all of the copper and zinc nails together with the wire and yeah. So, just finishing up connecting these wires, and on this next slide, here I am connecting them to the steel mesh, and here are my results. Not exactly an explosion. Uh, as a matter of fact, I was only able to get like the slightest bit of heat to come from the wires. Um, maybe the uh, nails were dirty or the lemon was bad or any number of things could have uh, caused it not to work properly. But um, you can see here I'm constantly or frantically trying to make it 
spark, but nothing's really going on for me. So a strikeout yet again, but um, it was a good learning opportunity, and I hope to see you all again next week. Thank you.